Alan Turing, The Man Who Saved the World, Bletchley Park, 1943. While bombs fall over Europe, a young mathematician sits alone in a sea of paper and wires. Alan Turing doesn't fight with bullets. He fights with logic, trying to break a code that kills thousands a day. He eats the same lunch, runs the same route, counts the same steps. Order is how he survives the chaos. The other cryptographers think he's odd. He thinks in algorithms before the word exists. When they finally crack Enigma, the war begins to turn. Millions live who would have died because one man refused to give up on patterns. But his real secret isn't mathematics. It's empathy disguised as logic. He builds machines that can think because he believes thinking deserves mercy. After the war, they call him criminal for loving another man. The state gives him chemicals to correct him. They take away his freedom, but not his mind. He wasn't broken. The world was. He dies alone. Yet decades later, every phone, every computer, every heartbeat of code carries his ghost. He wanted to build a mind that could understand, not replace our own. And maybe that's what genius really is. Loving the world enough to fix it, even when it breaks you first. Subscribe for more of History's Misfits.